Hello. Okay, so this is going to be step two, building our midsole. So what you're going to need for uh, building the midsole is you are going to need your pre-cut out sole. You should have already done this in step one. You're going to need a ruler, a pencil, some scissors, um, maybe a black Sharpie if that's helpful, and a piece of cardboard. Um, you will eventually need some hot glue, but I'm just going to be recording part one of building the midsole, and then I'll post part two uh, when we start using the hot glue gun. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to take your sneaker that you hopefully have on hand with you, and you are going to measure the length of the shoe. So from the heel of the shoe to the tip of the shoe, so for all of you guys right here, I'm measuring it this way to see how long it is. And this shoe is about 10 inches long. So I'm gonna note that down. I'm just gonna write that down so I don't forget 10 inches in length. And then I'm gonna measure the midsole. So as you notice on this shoe, it's a little bit thinner um, on one side than it is on the other. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the height of the midsole right here. And I think I'm gonna go right to there. So it's about, it's about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna note that down. So it's 1.5 inches at its thickest. And then at the thinnest point, it's about an inch. Yeah, it's about an inch. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, now that I have those two measurements, is I am going to take my piece of cardboard and I'm gonna show you how to measure that out. So we are again gonna take that first length me measurement, which is 10 inches, find it on the ruler. So for me, it's right there. And I am gonna find that on my piece of cardboard. So I lined up my cardboard, I put the ruler up to it, and I measured out 10 inches and I made a little mark that you can see right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, the height now. So we have the length, I'm going to measure the height. Okay. And as you remember, I noted it was 1.5 inches at its thickest and about an inch at the toe. So I'm going to find that on here. And I marked it right there. So I found about an inch and a half on the ruler and I marked it off. I'm going to do the same thing on the other end, but for just an inch. And I've marked it just like that. So I have the low point and the high point. Um, and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make a diagonal line. So from that highest point to the lowest point. I'll show you what I did, and then I'll do it in marker so you can see it a little bit easier. So I have my highest point and my lowest point, and I connected them with a diagonal line. So you can see it's slanted because it's going from a greater height to a lower height and I'm going to cut that out with my scissors. Luckily, this cardboard is a bit more bendy already. I think it's just a softer cardboard, but I'm gonna show you a trick for how to make it even more malleable so that we can bend it around the sole of the shoe. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I now have my midsole. See, there's a little bit of duct tape on the side. And what I'm actually going to do um, is I am going to peel it on one side, just like this. Peel, peel, peel. And try not to rip all the way through, but the goal is you want it to be bendy because it's going to have to curve around the curvature on the sole. So I have just like that. And to make my life a little easier, because there's two sides of the shoe, this is a 3D sculpture, I'm actually just gonna trace it. So I'm not gonna make myself remeasure anything. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna find some space on my cardboard, 
And I'm gonna just oh so carefully measure, or not, excuse me, not measure, trace it out again. I'll outline it in Sharpie so you guys can see it. And I just find a, found a space for it so that I can trace it a second time and repeat that same step. So again, I'm gonna cut it out from my lowest point up to the highest. I'm going to repeat this step by peeling it. I'm going to pick one side. It doesn't really matter which side you pick, but I'm going to peel that one side. This one's pretty beautiful. So I kind of just peeled it. You'll start to see some of, the, some of, the, uh, some of this ridging on one side, uh, and you can see there's like little indents, and it kind of goes in and out, and it just makes it a lot easier to bend all the way around. So I have my piece, it's pretty bendy. Um, and that is gonna conclude part one. In part two, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually attach it um, to the sole. So we're gonna be using hot glue along the edges and we're gonna be pressing that in to glue it on. Um, and so that concludes part one of the midsole.